What's going on? Just had to call you and catch up about the Great White Twin. Yes, Great White Twin action. You've been surfing it a bunch in Australia, right? Yeah, you guys gave me a 6'4 to bring back and uh, I play with. It's been pretty fun. You're a bigger guy and we just released a bunch of bigger sizes, so I'm curious what you thought of the 6'4. I probably would have gone up to a 6'6 six, six if it was available. Uh, the 6'4 is a little bit, I wouldn't say under volume, it's just a shorter rail line that I'm not used to. I'm used to definitely used to longer rail lines, so I think a 6'6 six, six would have kind of fit the bill a little better for me, but like float wise, paddle wise, catch wave wise, it feels great. And have you surfed many boards with volcanic lamination or was this one of the first? I have. I got lucky and uh, I've surfed a boss up with the volcanic and also a Sunday with the volcanic. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that volcanic lamination. It just seems to add some response and a little extra durability to it that I really enjoy. What about wave types? It looks like most of the waves that you've got are point breaks. Yeah, mostly point breaks. Um, got it on the beach break a few times and it felt really good. Uh, I found that I liked the point break a little bit better being that sort of twin plus one seemed to want me to kind of premeditate my turns a little bit and plan them out down the line. So kind of that twin fin approach. But then once you were in the turn, you could really push hard and, and push through it like a thruster. So it just kind of had that twin floaty kind of vibe to it and then once you kind of tracked into your turn you can push really hard with that little trailer in there watching your clips as you get towards the end of your clips you have this really cool release that you do at the end of your wraps what's the story with how you do that uh it's just a little bit of unweighting um it probably comes from longboarding longboarding you kind of unweight at the end of your turns to transition back to the other rail and when you do it on a shortboard you just kind of slide out a little bit so yeah, it's just a, a little bit of unweighting right at the end of your turn, and it just kind of lets your fins loosen up a bit. Yes or no, will the great white twin stay in your quiver? Absolutely, for sure. Like that's, for me going short, that's definitely one of the shorter boards I've had in a long time. And it just felt nice to hop on something that short and that has that tight of a turning radius is pretty cool.